Have you ever stumbled upon this? Your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. Don't freak out, there are many quick ways to resolve this issue. But first, let's go through the possible reasons for this pop-up message. Now, you may have entered the wrong password too many times, and it's by far the most common reason. Or, if you haven't signed in for a long time, your device may have logged you out. Sometimes, an unpaid bill may lead to the disabled App Store account. The same goes for disputed charges. You may be locked out of your account until your Apple case is resolved. Finally, Apple may lock you out if you have, you know, way too many devices and attempt to sign in too often, making everything looks very suspicious. Now, here are some useful troubleshooting tips to consider. The first and easiest fix is to simply wait. Some bans only last 24 hours, so it's worth trying again the next day to check if your account has been disabled temporarily or for a longer period of time. The next thing to try is to reset your Apple ID password. You can either do that on your iPhone or go to iforgot.apple.com. On your iPhone, go to Settings, tap on your name, select Password and Security, then choose Change Password. Enter your device passcode and follow the prompts on the screen. If you opt for iforgot.apple.com, enter your Apple ID, your email, and the phone number you use for your Apple ID account. Follow the instructions sent to your iPhone, Mac, or iPad. To create a new password, try Secrets for Mac. It's a handy tool available on Setup that will generate and safely store your passwords for you. Once you set up your Apple ID profile in Secrets, use the built-in slider and toggles to generate a strong password and hit Done. The app will make sure it meets any site or service requirements. To enter the password later, you can copy and paste it from Secrets or use the Safari and Chrome extensions to autofill it. Secrets can also keep your bank info, credit card data, licenses, or other important info in a secure vault. And if you're eager to switch to Secrets from another password manager, use the import feature to transfer all your existing passwords. The next tip to fix your disabled account is to simply log out and log in again. You have to do this for each device. For iPhone, go to settings, click on your name, then sign out at the bottom. The iPhone will ask for your password to turn off Find My iPhone. Enter it, then click on Turn Off and tap Sign Out twice. If you are on the Mac, here's what you need to do. Go to System Settings from the Apple logo on the top left corner. Select Apple ID, click Overview or iCloud on all their versions, and then select Sign Out. Then follow the prompts. Unlike Apple, some apps use TOTP or time-based one-time passwords to verify users. There's an app called Step 2 that makes signing into each platform very easy. Step 2 is available on Setup and it can hold as many accounts as you need. Just scan the QR code on the respective service. Step 2 will create an account for you right away. You can then back up all your TOTP passwords on iCloud so they are accessible from all your Apple devices. Finally, if the account issue persists, you can proceed to contact Apple. Note that having the problem resolved this way may take a while, especially if your case needs to be, you know, escalated. So don't forget to try these steps mentioned earlier. Now that we've covered the different ways to unlock a disabled Apple account, it's a good idea to try an app like Secrets to create and manage your passwords or step two to help you with the platform supporting TOTP. Both apps as well as 240 more are available on Setup. It's a single subscription that gives unlimited access to an entire catalog of useful apps. It comes with a seven day free trial that allows you to try it yourself.